Hello all, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a new spread called What Do They Secretly Want You To Know? This is for all of my Sagittarius out there. So, let's get at it. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun, moon rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What do they secretly want to tell my Sagittarius? What do they secretly want to tell my Sagittarius? What do they secretly want to tell my Sagittarius? Cards I need to see. Show me cards that I need to see. Okay, okay, my Sazies. First thing I want to tell you is they need you to remove this burden. Okay, they need you to the remove the burden. That burden is the fact that you guys work together in the same space. They want a removal of burden here. The burden. I'm getting the sense here. What I'm feeling. I'm really feeling that. The sense, the burden here is that they want to have a relationship with you, but because you work together in the same place, that is considered an issue. Some places have rules in place where they're not allowed to kind of date uh, each other. Co-workers on the same floor, even in the same office, uh, in the same floor or in the same um, same department. That's what I feel is going on here. Um, yeah. So they they want they they need you to know they want this burden to be. To be lifted, you know, because um, there's a sense that you're not really moving forward because, you know, you're, you don't want to kind of get caught up in that whole work office thing. And they're saying, hey, listen, just lift this burden. We can be together. OK, don't worry about it. And they're they're using the king of swords energy here. King of swords really is really good at making decisions on the fly, really good at thinking on their feet. And they're saying, hey, listen, we can make this happen. This is an opportunity that we can take advantage of here. If we just kind of go go forward with this, don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. We'll just keep it silent. But the fact that you're kind of worried about what's going to happen in the office place is really, is, is really you know, stopping us from really, you know, really taking advantage of this opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles here. They're, they're, they're looking at this as a real opportunity here uh, to have something special, to have something really meaningful here. All right? Now, up to that point here, I also got the fact that this person feels like they kind of been, they kind of been stabbed in the back a little bit. They kind of been hurt. They kind of, they kind of feel betrayed by the fact that you haven't wanted to move forward with a relationship, or even, or even the hint of a relationship here. This person feels very strongly about you. We got the Empress card here. This Empress card represents fertility. It represents abundance. Okay, it represents material happiness, and they believe that all of these things um, you're missing out on because of this rule of not being able to have relationships in the workspace. They believe you're throwing that all away. Okay, um, now we also got the Six of Wands here. This person would also like a recognized victory as well. Okay, so this person's not afraid to um, let others know. Okay, they're they're not afraid to let others know that hey, listen, um, I'm with this person. I want to be with this individual. Um, it, it, I'm getting a sense here that um, it's it's their belief that um, the rules in the office are not. Um, are not really going to be enforced that you guys would end up having a recognized victory here um, and it would not really be as much of a problem as you think it may be okay I'm really getting a sense of that here and finally here I'm getting a sense that eight of cups this person is you know really on the verge of kind of walking away from the situation because um, you know when, when, when I say walk away from the situation I mean this person um, looks as if they're probably going to be leaving um going to a different department uh or either just leaving that company all together going going to, to going somewhere else altogether so you know because this person is so 
um, feel so broken hearted about this. Um, and, and, and they would rather, they would just, they, they would just rather not be around you. They'd rather just be alone. Um, you know, uh, so that's, 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 that, this is, this is a person that is really feeling very strongly about this situation here. So let's see what kind of blockages you guys are dealing with. What kind of blockages? What kind of blockages are you guys doing? What kind of blockages are you guys dealing with here? What kind of blockages are you guys dealing with here? What kind of blockages are you guys dealing with? Here? What kind of blockages are you guys doing? Cards you need to see. Cards you need to see. Cards that I need to see. Okay, there we go. Feels good. Hmm. Seems to be the block is is that the fact of this represents the, um it represents the two uh, two of the two of cups represents um soulmates but also represents friends as well and the block is at this point th the way this is being being panned out here is that with this with this two of cups here is that this person kind of sees you uh you see them as a potential soulmate. But um, you see them as a potential. You, you just you're just seeing them as a friend. You're not really seeing them as anything really um, any more than a friend here. Okay, um, the potential is there. The potential is definitely there. But at the moment, you're not seeing them as any more than a friend. Okay. Also, we got star card here. Okay, hope, hope, a rebirth, a renewal. Again, remember this is the blockage here. There's a lack of. There's really a lack on your part. To kind of start anything fresh and start anything new here, and you know, at your place of work, because in your mindset here, we got the Queen of Swords. You're being really, you're being logical about it. You're being very logical about what's how are how are you going about approaching this here. You know, even though that person may feel like, hey, you know, it's no big deal. You know, um, you know, the office romance thing is really not an issue. You're losing your logical mind. You're saying mm, that's how you may feel, but uh, that's not that. They, 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 you know, I'm not feeling that way. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm feeling that way here at all. Um, also, there's this sense of you're not really looking for um, a long-term committed relationship where there are kids involved at the moment. You know, you're not. You, you, it's like you're not. You know. You know. You're kind of like you know you you want to date you want to connect with with individuals and stuff like that but you're not you know you're not really looking for any kind of long term committed relationship where there's going to be children involved here okay so you're not really looking to have any kids at the moment also here and this is really really strongly resonating here is you got the king of pentacles you don't want your finances to be in jeopardy here you want to make wise decisions. When it comes to finances. And again, this is the blockage being that you really want to make sure that your finances are in order. You want to make really wise decisions when it comes to your pentacles. And you're, the feeling here is that's not going to be, it's not going to be really a wise choice to type, to type kind of put that in jeopardy. A relationship to potentially put in jeopardy uh, your financial security here. In addition here, we got the judgment card. And that is the X card. Okay, and so that means that you are kind of entertaining. You have uh, the the ex or one of your exes. You you know you've kind of been thinking about them quite a bit. Okay, and 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 that is you know that is uppermost on your mind at the moment. That's kind of entering your subconscious, if you will. Here, also you're thinking about the long term. You think about the big picture here. Okay. There's a this is aspect of thinking about the big picture here. Thinking about that, well, what's the end game here? Okay, like uh, it may be in an immediate need that is you know that is fulfilled at the moment, but what's what's the long term thing here? Again, job security. Okay, and that is pretty much highlighted here by the nine of wands here. You're being very apprehensive, if you will. You 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 you're, be, you're very apprehensive. Um, you know, there's an aspect of fear here, not wanting to 
uh, put that in jeopardy, if you will, not wanting to risk that. So there, there's that. So let me just get a little bit of information from the Oracle here, and then I will shut this thing down. Okay. So what additional information does Oracle want to give me? What additional information does Oracle want to give? What additional information? seeds of intention so what that's telling me is that listen you need to be you need to plant the seed of intention and let this individual know hey listen I'm just seeing you as a friend I'm not really seeing you as anything else other than a friend during this time okay and so you're really gonna have to let them know so um, it doesn't end up things don't end up ending on a bad note the, the thing is this person probably is gonna end up leaving okay leaving leaving uh, the place that you guys work, but Spirit's saying you may want to kind of plant the seed of intention to kind of let them know, hey, listen, this is what my true intentions are. I only see as your friend. See you as a friend. It's not going to go much further than that. Also, divine drunkenness here, okay? So just, you know, Spirit's saying, hey, just continue to do what you're, do what you're doing. You know, just be true to yourself. Enjoy your happiness. Enjoy, your, enjoy you know, uh, the things you have going on in your life at, at this time. And just kind of enjoy yourself. But again, you want to really put this, you know, put that squash, that quant, you know, put any kind of doubt that that person has. That there's going to be something more here. Put that to rest. And finally here, we have re dream redirection. Again, Spirit is saying you, uh, you have to redirect this person's dreams and this person's thoughts about how they think things are going to turn out. Okay? Uh, you want to end things on a... On a friendly note, if you can, okay. Instead of on the on on instead of on something negative, okay. With that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. This is a general reading; may not resonate with everyone. If it does resonate with you, you want to know more about this particular situation, I'll leave the link below. Again, if you haven't already, please like, please share, please subscribe. My name is Adonis. I love you guys, and I'll absolutely see you next time. Bye bye.